Over 10 months ago, we did a series on the channel. What if Ben 10 aliens were demons? It had quite a good response. And <laughs> as all things of the channel, since we've got so much content to do, it's kind of been left for a bit. I thought it was quite fun to bring these demonic aliens back into the mix. So let's bring these illustrations to life. In the empty corridor, the Department of Multiversal Matters, the air was still and quiet. Suddenly, a small glowing crack began to form, and through it came twelve fingers that forcefully ripped the rift open. In an instant, a large, red-headed, six-armed, demonic-like creature emerged from the rift, its eyes glowing green with a fierce energy. The last time anyone or anything was in this corridor, it was to send Ben 10 of Earth 666 to another dimension through a dimensional portal. Back then, it was thought that he had returned to his own dimension. However, due to a small glitch in the portal dimension device, Ben 10 was sent to another dimension entirely. Unfortunately, it was not Earth 666 he was sent to, but another dimension that soon fell prey to their own sins, destroying the world until it became a desolate wasteland. Thanks to his Omnitrix, Ben was able to stay in demonic alien forms and thrived in this environment. It took a whole year and 10 months to be able to return via the faint traces of the portal that sent him to this dimension. His only thought was getting revenge on the Department of Multiversal Matters, and this gave him an unrelenting drive to get back and continue wreaking havoc upon his return. With a sinister grin, the demonic form of forearms fully emerged from the portal. This massive size and imposing presence dominated the previously empty corridor. Forearms took a moment to look around his new surroundings, relishing in the fact that he'd finally made it back to the Department of Multiversal Matters. He could feel the power of the portal behind him, pulsing with an energy that made him feel invincible. As he stood there, Forearms could not help but think back to the time when he was a mere mortal. He had always felt that he was meant for something greater, but he never knew what it was until he discovered the only trick. With its power, he transformed into a powerful demonic alien, and he instantly knew that this was his true calling. Now, as he stood in the corridor of the Department of Multiversal Matters, Forearms knew that he had to fulfil his mission. He was there to seek revenge on those who had wronged him, and he would stop at nothing to achieve his goals. The air was filled with a sense of foreboding, as Forearms took his first steps forward, ready to unleash his wrath upon anyone who dared stand in his way. The Department of Multiversal Matters was on high alert after the incident with Ben 10. They knew that he was a force to be reckoned with, and they were determined to stop him at all costs. However, even with their extensive training and advanced weaponry, they were no match for Ben in his demonic forms. The elite team that surrounded Forearms was the best of the best. They were hand-picked for their exceptional skills and were trained to handle the most dangerous and unpredictable situations. But then, if they opened fire on Forearms, they quickly realised that they were in over their heads. Despite his thick and tough hide, Forearms was injured by the blasts. This only made Ben 10 more furious and he hit the watch to transform into a new form. The green flashing light filled the air, and when it dissipated, there was a new demonic alien form standing there, Wampire. Wampire was a sight to behold. With his bat-human hybrid appearance, sharp fangs, and glowing green eyes, he looked like a creature straight out of a nightmare. But he had a unique ability that made him even more terrifying. He could drain the life force out of his victims in order to heal and feed. As the elite team continued to fire at Wampire, he started to feed on them, their screams of agony filled the corridors as Wampire drained their life force and healed himself. It was a gruesome sight, but Ben couldn't help feel a sense of satisfaction as he watched his enemies fall before him. But the carnage wasn't over yet. As Wampire continued to feed, he grew stronger and more powerful. His enemies were no match for him. And it wasn't long before the entire room was filled with the sound of gunfire and screams. In the end, the elite team was no match for Ben 10 in his demonic form. They'd underestimated his power and they paid the ultimate price for it. Standing there amongst the slaughtered team of elites, Vampire was taking a moment to enjoy the feeling of absorbing the last team member's life force when all went dark. Red lights began to flash as the sound of doors locking echoed throughout the halls. As he looked around, he saw a set of energy fields, force fields in effect. He walked up to them and attempted to drain the energy, but was unable to do so. For the time being, it would appear Ben 10 in his demonic vampire form was trapped in the corridor with no way out. The sounds of footsteps began to echo as more squadrons from the Department of Multiversal Matters lined up their weapons and aimed them at Wampire. The first ones who arrived were filled with a sense of fear upon looking at the lifeless bodies around Ben 10. No one was firing this time. They had their weapons trained on Ben, awaiting orders of what to do next. The thoughts were that he was contained. In fact, a few of the squadrons could be heard naively relaxing their guard, which was their first mistake. 
the bat-like hearing of Vampire was listening closely as this demonic alien just stood there, still and motionless. The next thing they knew, a large smirk appeared on Vampire's face as Ben 10 hit the Omnitrix again and changed into a rather electrifying form. A slim black figure was there standing with two long whip-like antennae that were flowing with electric charges. Large energy spikes were coming out from its back. A single glowing demonic eye was in the centre of the face and a rather large and terrifying smile was shown. Ben had turned into feedback and with very little effort he pressed his hands against the energy field and began to absorb it. It only took a matter of seconds before the field was down. The teams opened fire but it was useless. The energy blasts that were effective against forearms and somewhat effective against vampire now were being absorbed upon contact by this demonic alien skin. As he was being barraged by energy blasts from all sides he walked calmly over with one hand absorbing the other energy field, before smiling and slamming his now electrified hands to the ground. This sent out a large electrical attack, frying the teams the moment it made contact with them. Within moments, the whole corridor and adjacent areas were filled with the bodies of the Department of Multiversal Matter security staff, all still and lifeless. This was a super fun episode, and I really enjoyed how the story came out, but even more so, and on a slightly biased note, I really enjoyed how the artwork came out. I think it's up there in the top artwork so far this year. Not sure it beats the Venomized Charizard that we did in the last video, but I'd say it's up there. Don't forget, today is the deadline for the community redraw, so be sure to get your submissions in before time runs out. I look forward to seeing all the awesome submissions from you guys. Monday, we will be continuing our Mitsune Mecha during the live stream where we take the monster hunt creature and we turn it into a mechanized form. So I hope to see you all there. And if you like this video, why not check out the episode that started this all off? What if Ben 10 Aliens were Demons, part one, which you can view by clicking right here. Anyway, that's all for today. Stay safe, everybody. Catch you next time.